Right, so hello again. Now, this is actually not really part of the weekend twofer since uh, my usual weekend twofers cover uh, a K-pop group I really like or a P-pop group or any or a musical group that I really like and action figures. But I guess this, since we've already been discussed, we've already discussed new genes, uh, and I guess it's it might be a good time to also, especially with the current development with regards to, um, with current developments with regards to this topic, with regards to, um, to, to, to the topic uh, concerning new genes or at least which is in relation to new genes. I guess it's also nice to talk about this as well. And that is the current battle, or let's say, yeah, current legal battle between um, Minhee Jin uh, of Ador and Bang Si Hook of Hybe, the Hybe umbrella, the Hybe, the Hybe umbrella company. Now, this has been going on for quite some time already. And a lot of uh, media outlets, Korean K-pop groups, K-pop channels, and in both um, international and within Korea has been talking about this. Now, one thing is that um, there has been recent developments, especially with regards to current with the current K with the, with the current injunction filed by Min Hee Jin. Now, to give everybody a background, in case people are not that familiar with it, is that. Um, there's a current uh, battle, legal battle between uh, Min Hee Jin, who is the current CEO of Ador, which is under the HYBE labels, and the parent company, HYBE, uh, whose head is Bang Si Ho, or Hit Bang, Bang Hit Maker. Now, uh, it involves, uh, by the way, Min Hee Jin is the, is the CEO and the creator of New Jeans, of the New Jeans group. Now, it involves um, some pieces of information that was taken or that was found by HYBE wherein uh, they're alleging that Min Hee Jin is trying to, to hatch a plan to separate a door from the HYBE parent company, from the HYBE umbrella, and make a door uh, independent or to make, it, to make it an independent label. Now, it's it's a pretty drawn out battle with regards to information being released on both sides. They we have uh, people releasing information in support of Hybe and also uh, people releasing information and in, in support of Ador and Min Hee Jin. But in the gist of the matter is that um, there were some informations um, in terms of um, Kakao Talk videos, uh, uh, Kakao Talk messages. Uh, wherein it was found that Min Hee Jin was trying to find ways of um, separating from Hybe in terms of getting um, getting funding, you know, getting funding and trying to uh, in trying to to pull Hybe to pull a door out, as well as um, there are some other things that Hybe is alleging that Min Hee Jin um, was releasing information, uh, releasing. Uh, idle information as well as trying to put um, trying to put down uh, trying to put other 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 groups other groups um, putting them in a bad light or releasing rumors now on Min Hee Jin's part she was uh, her goal apparently her goal is said that she was just protecting new genes or protecting her her label wherein she was uh, she was uh, she complained to the, to Hybe that um, another, a girl group, another girl group, Eyelid, is trying to copy what she did for New Jeans. And she's saying that she's doing it for everything she's doing is to protect New Jeans and to protect her company. And on top of that, she was putting allegations of, she was putting allegations of uh, mistreatment uh, for, and, and that the... Um, the people in, in Hybe are not respecting her her group, uh, people in her the New Jeans group. Now, it's basically a back and forth of, of uh, different information. Now, the thing there is that due to this back and forth, it has affected some groups uh, since 
uh, Min Hee Jin alleges that um, even BTS was trying to copy from her. Um, Eyelid was a copy. Uh, is that um, La Seraphim that, that she felt hurt when Hybe um, when Hybe promised her that she was that she was that she will debut uh, a girl group and instead they debuted the Seraphim first. Now, and then she also alleged uh, mistreatment and she also alleged that um, when they were that some of that an, a new jeans member was not acknowledged by Bang when, when they met each other, I guess in an, in the, in an elevator. While Hybe, on the other hand, was saying that she was being disloyal or she, she was trying to, to hurt the company so that the company would be would would the company stock would go so low that they'd allow her to or maybe they'd find a way for to separate a door from Hybe. Now they've also indicate they've also alleged other things as well as um, as well as the, the different the, the, the release the, the leakage of information and that um, and that they also allege that Min Hee Jin well, apparently that Min Hee Jin, uh, for somebody who's supposedly mistreated by the company, she occupied one of the top floors, the 16th floor of the high building. Uh, she was, uh, she was, she was the highest paid, highest paid Hype employee, even higher than paid higher than the Hype CEO. Uh, her stock options, she was given preferential prices and her stock options, and she was given the option to even buy more. Of those stock options but those stock options is something that you is given to you but you can't sell yet you're given a time a time frame for her to sell until she can sell so this is like a stock option but this doesn't but it's something that she can't touch yet on top of that um, she was able to give um, she was also able to get uh, get help by um, attaching herself or at least Attaching some of her members to to join um, to join with BTS and also marketed new jeans as the 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 neck the BTS uh, to attach new jeans with BTS in terms of marketing and to also uh, get full uh, full advantage of the high uh, marketing machinery and that was um, and also what was I guess some evidence found was that. Um, she had this thing called Project uh, Project 1945, which is basically her main project to find to find a way to get a door out of the Hybe label of companies. Now, what happened was Hybe uh, filed a case of breach of um, breach of trust, I guess, a breach of similar something similar to that in the in court. While Minhi and was gonna be trying to. Um, in the next shareholders meeting of Ador to try to fire Min Hee Jin. Min Hee Jin, on the other hand, um, had a court injunction against it. Now, before that, she went on um, she went on a press tour. She went on a, I mean, she went on a press release talking about how she was mistreated and all the and that she was just really in it for new jeans. She in it there to protect new jeans. While after that. Uh, more information on their cacao talks um, released on how Min Jae Jin was talking uh, badly about the um, new jeans, um, new jeans members. Yet, despite this, there were petitions done made by the bunnies and um, and even new jeans in petitioning and new jeans parents in support of uh, Min Hee Jin. Now, I'm not going to talk. I'm not really going to give mo my opinion on this since. Those are allegations, and there is already a court case with breach of trust against Min Hee Jin, and that's a criminal case. But what we're going to be talking about is something that has recently happened, where it, uh, the court has decided on Min Hee Jin's um, injunction. Now, but before that, uh, this has affected actually. You. Now, you know, honestly, K-pop is a little bit toxic. There, we have toxic fandoms, of course, like other fandoms. Yeah, we, do, we do have the toxic fans. But one thing is that this has hurt um, reputations of groups. 
you know, they have people now hating on BTS. Um, there have been rumors bringing out of BTS, like they're being part of a cult, which Haibas already um, denied. Um, also, there have been additional hate against uh, groups like La Seraphim called, um, and especially Eyelid. Actually, the biggest hit there is Eyelid, wherein um, they already received hate before they they debuted. When they debuted, we've got they've got a lot of hate messages from I guess from most of them might be from from bunnies and other people who, who believe what Min Hye Jin said to them being uh, a new jeans copy. But then again, I would just have to also state that it was also found that new jeans uh, more or less copied a lot of their concept uh, to um, to a Mexican group called Jeans. Even the, maybe even, I guess even the name. But to which um, the Jeans members um, expressed support, uh, more or less expressed support saying that they're happy that the Y2K concept is being revived. And that, I guess, so to most people, that actually has put Min Hye Jin in a in a in a in a less bet in a less in at a lesser light because um she would talk about um groups copying her plagiarize plagiar using the word plagiarizing her while her concept herself was not even original in the first place but then again k-pop has never been really original we've we've seen um so much uh so much um I, I guess sampling from other groups. Now, if it were up to me, actually, Baby Monster is so much, so similar to Blackpink that it's basically like Blackpink with more members. Right now, on in on the side of Min Hee Jin, she was stating that the pictures, the way they were taking pictures, um, even the handbook, the handbook photo op that Eyelet did was a copy from her, and then. Um, and then that um, they, they, she even pointed out something uh, something like the, the the black the long black hair being copied. But then again, personally, uh, on my, this is going to be my personal opinion. There are similarities. Yes, there will always be similarities. And but I would always I would be putting eyelid on a fairy type concept more than a New Jesus um, Y two K concept. There's a I I I'm not sure. I mean, there are similarities in terms of part of the video, like um, magnetic had them sleep, uh, closing their eyes, pretending sleep. Uh, Ditto did the same. Uh, there were some moves. Uh, people would talk about the, the the body stretch and attention. I I didn't. I don't really find it that way. But there will be there there are. I would say that there are um, there are similarities. Well, then again, they're both from the same parent company, right? And then she was, uh, Min Hedin was talking about that, that unlike Baby Monster that came in seven years after Blackpink, Eyelid came in just two years, less than two years, uh, and they were de developed. But then again, Eyelid is part of B Lift Lab, which is a different label from ha from Adore. It is part of Hive, but it is it is a different label. And then they also talk about when that the, talk about them getting um, getting um, getting trainees from Source Media. Now, Source Music. I'm sorry that it was found that um, the New Jeans members were actually Source trainees, and Min Hee Jin was able to get, to get a pick out of it. And it, when she was saying that she was hurt because La Seraphim debuted earlier, apparently she delayed the debut of New Jeans to, to have more practice, to, to gain more to gain more experience. Which at the end it was actually her. So there was actually a mix of it. It's really hard to take stand, to take sides because first off, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not in the court. I'm not even there. Um, but apparently Min Hee Jin has gotten a lot of support from Koreans. Though most of the people I find, uh, especially in YouTube, most of the people who are not Koreans are actually more or less not taking her side that much, right? Um, with especially since more information 
about about new genes and many gene not really being mistreated because new genes in for a group who's only less than two years old has gotten so much endorsements second is that it, it was shown that each of them each of the new genes members were given around three million dollars already and they've already moved out of their dorms they now live in they now live in con they now live alone each other they're now separate and given luxury apartments for that so they're hardly they are hardly uh, mistreated but then again i do understand i would understand why they would support minhijin because minhijin gave them all that right so it's it's something that is uh, i would say uh, cause and effect which is why i don't i'm not going to take sides but i'm just going to be discussing things like on what what, what recently happened now uh, one thing that I'm really I, I, the surreal the rest of the reasons why I'm also pretty pretty passionate about this is because I didn't like the hate that that other groups got. You know, the Seraphim worked hard. You know, they I know it's a hype it's a hype curse I guess to have weak vocals, but um, to hate on Islet just because of their concept to even hate them before even getting out is is too much. And that's also the reason why I personally stand Islet. As much as I love New Jeans, I you, you can love Islet and New Jeans both. You know, there's no reason why you just hate the other and love one. Okay, you can love both. I love them both, and that's also why I I really push to to try to to promote and give positivity to Islet because they're a fandom with which we have a very small fan base. Les Seraphim has their own fan base already, and they can support themselves, but Islet doesn't. And they're getting a lot of hate from this. But then again, we also need to support new genes because they're in a crossroads of their career. They're having a problem with their parent company, and what and and with, with what currently is happening, their might their career might be in danger, might be in limbo because of this. The reason being is that Minhee Jin won the injunction. That means uh, Hybe cannot force her to be fired in the next shareholders meeting. But Hybe controls eighty percent of Ador. And what happened was, despite Minhijin winning her injunction, Hyde removed two of the two of her board members that she chose, which is the vice CEO and the creative director. And in place of those two, they Hyde added three board members from their own group, from Hyde itself. They added a uh, chief human resources. Sir, a chief strategy officer and the chief financial officer, all loyal to Hybe. So that basically cuts Minhee Jin's powers. She is a CEO, yet the people under her are now under Hybe. That would definitely that would definitely cut a cut a lot of flexibility from Minhee Jin's um, um, strategy, though it can help. Now the thing with the 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 thing with the um, with the decision is that first off the court looked at her contract. Apparently, in her contract, she can only be removed if it's something that has done, has something to do with criminality, which they found that what her doing is not. Second, the court did find that there was damage to Hybe, but it was not but not to Adore. So in a sense. I personally, the the multi-label system has hurt Hybe in this one because the court has decided that Minhee Jin is for a door and she was thinking for a door. While it has hurt Hybe, but it didn't hurt a door. She was actually more or less protecting a door, which is from what I think. And lastly, uh, they found that she was just about to execute her plan and the plan was not executed. In essence, it was frustrated. So it wasn't that, I guess they were saying that the crime didn't happen. So good for you for finding out that she's still there. And uh, apparently Hybe has expressed that they will respect the decision. But then again, since they do own 80% and I guess Hybe being a conglomerate has already reached conglomerate status, it's not, would of course find a way. They did find a way by removing 
two of her deputies and putting in three of their own. And this will limit a lot of Minhijin's powers and also her flexibility in doing things. Because part of the allegations that Hybe has is that her misuse of the money. And now they've instituted HR strategy and finance, which is the, the three building blocks on how to put, how to control somebody. So now we're gonna be putting on putting the career the, the thing there now is that the career of new jeans is now gonna be putting on the crossroads. Do they stay? Do they go? What do they do? Do they still continue to to ride with Min Hee Jin or just follow Hyde? Because at this point, apparently, they're supposed they're going to be going on hiatus after this next follow-up. But then again, we're still not sure. Um, and maybe there might be some a little bit some um, the, maybe a dorm with the new with the new board members might be a little bit tight-fisted in terms of what they want to do and what Min Hee Jin has planned. But then, but definitely in this coming months. Now, Min Hee Jin after has also done a press conference, more or less stating that um, she wants to work with Hive again, which I'm not. I'm sure um, bridges have already been broken in this part. Trust has already been um, has, has already been breached, and don't forget that there is still the criminal case against Min Hee Jin by Hive. There's no decision yet. There's not. An, I guess they just filed it. So. We have to wait for that because what happened here is the victory is only in the injunction. So she still keeps her CEO status, yet a lot of her people, are, her two main people are out. And now they're gonna, they've been replaced with high people. So this is going to be very, very, uh, very, I guess, for us K-pop and New Jeans fans, this is going to be a, a bit of a... Um, uh, feeling out period but then again my goal here especially in this video is to stop the hate you know you can love one group and love the same other group you don't have to find ways to to put to put other groups down everybody all these groups work hard for their craft right? it's it's just um it just hurts people especially you're hurting minors you know islet has has three minors um, New Jeans has a minor. Seraphim even has a, has a minor, Yun Che. And aside from hurting the minors, you're hurting them. They're, they're doing, they're performing for us. They're making music for us. And, we, and yes, we can criticize or even have our opinions, but let's not hate. You, peop, a lot of people would hide hate and hide it under constructive criticism. No, if you're construct, if you want to criticize, and if you want to constru constructively criticize, you find help tell them help to 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 do something without putting them down. We can do that. We can enjoy music. We can enjoy K-pop. Honestly, K-pop has helped me with regards to to my to my sad state, to my sad uh, my sadness. Um, it has helped me a lot, which is just why I'm I'm I even started these videos because of how it helped me get happy and get happier and all this hate is really unwarranted because these people work these girls and guys they all work hard for for their craft yes some of them might still need more polishing or maybe better live vocals <laughs> but then again they will improve like twice People they got so much hate when they started with their encore, but look at them now. They're still you know they'll they'll improve. They'll get better. It's part of their job to be to improve. Let them, let us all enjoy the music. We don't need the hate. This world has so much hate. Don't spread it anymore. At least that's if we wanna if we don't like a group, then don't watch the group. Don't have don't have to put them down. But then again, um for bunnies and for the rest of our uh, for bunnies, we have to see on how this goes. But then again, we'll still enjoy it. How sweet is so nice. Uh, and uh, for others, Eyelid, please um, stop. I know if you can, if you can this, if you can support Eyelid, you know they're they're good. They're starting. They're just they're just coming into their second month. And um, and I hope and I hope that you can also enjoy their music. Le Seraphim. Uh, I love I love their dance. I love their dance. I haven't done videos on it yet, but I love I love them as a group as well. Uh, 
because this is also coming uh, by the way this is also coming at a time at least Jin is coming out of his military service this year so hopefully we can have something new for BTS but let's just have a place where we can support each other and enjoy K-pop so let's just stop the hate and um, enjoy enjoy K-pop enjoy all these groups